I don't know why I just took off my glasses. I do that when I'm uh, playing video games because it's really weird because the TV that we have, it's just like a, I, I can see all like the smudges in my glasses and I can't normally. Like the smallest smudge I can see and it annoys me. Um, so, surprise video. I decided to do it. Um, you know, have an even bigger surprise video tomorrow. Uh, I wish it were a stream. I wish it were me announcing that I have made it big on YouTube. I don't have to go to school or work anymore. It'd be awesome. Um, but no. Today's video is going to be going over... Oh, tomorrow's video that's what I'm talking about. Tomorrow's video, you'll see. I don't want to ruin it. It's, it was a big surprise for me, too. And it's, it involves a lot of stuff that I don't want to get into now. Because it's a lot of explaining. And to do that now and not tomorrow is kind of pointless. Okay, so I'm going to be going through all my collections. Now, what I mean by that is that I mean, like, there's movies that, like, collect a bunch of movies inside. Like, it's like box sets, basically. I guess that's what I want to name it. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet because I haven't, you know, published a video yet. Let's make sure, let's make sure this doesn't fall. Um, all right. And no particular order except for this one. <clears throat> This is by far the worst one I have because they give you a good movie like Duel, which I it's it's Steven Spielberg's first ever like anything. The first I think it's his first anything like what the first first directed whatever the first TV it's a, it's a TV movie. His first was um, was his first the Sugarland Express. Is that a TV movie? The Sugarland Express is a, kind of an okay movie. I don't know, maybe I need to watch it again. Tonight's are all, they're all on Blu-ray, and you get like this nice little, uh... It's like a nice little thing for each of them. It's like a different design, and you normally get like, they didn't just like repurpose the Blu-rays. At least I don't think they did. See? And I can hold it like this, because it's the Blu-ray, not a DVD. And in fact, speaking of DVDs, there's a reason why, um... That and the runtime, where I'm where, where I'm not gonna watch the uh, color purple, is because the DVD I got and it wasn't from Amazon or anything. It was from the library, and a few scratches on it, and it skipped while I was watching one of them that was pretty new. So I don't know. I don't want to trust it. Nineteen forty one. I mean, I, I will admit some of these I haven't seen, and there's a reason why. Um, and it's just like I don't know. That was a quote from from another like a credit goes from him, the you know the director of his own movie. Of course, he's gonna say something about that. Um, but like like I've said before, they really should have put in this is it's to be my ideal thing. Um, and I'm not, and I'm not going in particular order. Duel you can keep instead of Sugarland Sugarland Express, put in Close Encounters and all three cuts at that. Jaws you can keep instead of 1941, put the color purple. So I think it said have it. Um, E.T. definitely keep. Always, instead of always, put in like Schindler's List or something. Jurassic Park obviously keep. And then in the Lost World, Jurassic Park 2. I'll have to get back to you on that one. When I grow up, I still want to be a director. <laughs> you do get this cool little booklet. I'm, I'm a sucker. I'm a suckler. I'm a sucker for little booklets like this. Even though I'm not going to read them. I might. You never know. I want to get a Batman, uh, definitive Batman Dark Knight thingy, just because it comes with cool little slipcase booklets things, even though I don't want to read the history. It's a history book. You know. Why would you want to do that? Okay, so now it's not going in any, in, in, in any particular order. I was about five years too late getting this, even though it came out recently. I know this movie is like considered to be old news and everything, and it's not only for the uh, Tumblr crowd to enjoy, but it's still good. I still like it. Comes with a bunch, bunch of deleted scenes, which I'm a huge sucker for. Damn, 72 featurettes. <laughs> featurettes, tourettes. <laughs> um, I want to try and load this up because this was supposed to come with more than just the movies, and of course, they did. They did, they did, they did, they did. The digital code. Uh, 
Um, Amazon. I wonder how much it is now. I wonder if it's gone down in price or up in price. Or left prime. Because some movies, do, some everything does that, like, eventually. Not eventually, but sometimes they'll see. Sometimes they'll see. Sometimes they'll just, it'll do that. And it's really weird. I don't get it. Like, it was on Prime before. I think it's when it goes out of stock. Uh-oh. I'm just seeing the, uh, region free stupid things. Oh, wait. Are we over here? Currently unavailable. Damn. It's 4K, though. Hang on, you guys. $99? Jesus. And got one star. Well, because it's just like, it looks like it's like an eBay purchase on, a on, um, Amazon. Not an eBay purchase, but you know, you know what I mean. Alright, I'm gonna click this. Let's see, what, let's see what I get. There we go. 22 bucks. You can still get it on Prime. Damn, 64? How would that ever be $64? For individual rebate. Not the TV. Oh, okay, never mind. You have reasons to complain. There we go. It was supposed to come. Oh. Even this person didn't get what was advertised. But I didn't send it back because it was something that was a gift. I didn't care. A trifle thing would have been cool. But um, I'm not like a... I don't really care about that. So I just got a DVD. That's kind of the second worst, I guess you could say. But I still got the movies. The movies worked fine. At least the first. Which ones did I have to watch? Look. See, the thing about digital codes is that I could probably just buy movies on digital. If they were the same price and if I wanted to. But I, I like the novelty of having a Blu-ray. Like having like a shelf. Like that. At least the comics, I don't like having them digitally. I, I watch all my movies on digital for the most part. <clears throat> this one is kind of cheaply made. Uh, but it's another one that was supposed to come with extra stuff, but didn't. Actually, no, it was a, it was a Deadpool one. That's right, too. They had, like, a two-year anniversary thing. Cause, you know, of course, wall-breaking, it's not, like, really that big of a deal. And that was another joke. And they just use the same DVDs as they do for, you know, the original, whatever. So, kind of cheap, but they still got the movies. And I think it was cheaper than buying them individually. But they did a really cool thing with the second movie. And they had, like, different slip covers. If they had editing software, I'd edit, it, edit a picture, like, right here or right here or whatever. Um, where they had, like, a the good, the bad, and the ugly, but it was Deadpool over it. It was kind of, it was neat. And I think in, in Lego Movie did that, too. It was Legoized, not Deadpoolized, obviously. It's the Alfred Hitchcock one. This was a major surprise, getting this. I remember... <laughs> And I don't know why I didn't catch on. I think I told a story when I unboxed it, but I don't think uh, anyone watched it. And I went back to see if I did it. Um, so I was talking to my dad about it because this is before Christmas, and my mom had obviously already gotten it. I remember he was like laughing, and I thought he was I thought it was just like telling a funny joke, but it wasn't. I thought he was just you know he does it all the time. Uh, like it's like a fake laugh, and I, it turns out it's because he knew my mom had gotten this and. I still get to watch all the movies. I think I only watch Psycho. And even that one I want to get again because they have this stupid. Oh, it's a uh, extended edition with four extra, four extra minutes. Stupid. Why don't you just have the uncut thing? Like this slipcase. Same thing with uh, Stephen. Stephen. Was it Stephen King? Imagine if they did that. That'd be awesome. Like all of the Stephen King adaptations, and like all the like different versions of them. Like, you got The Shining, the original, and that's the one. And you got the shitty, um, TV one. Maybe for TV one. Maybe, maybe even the same disc. You got, like, uh, The Dead Zone. and They should make that. They really should. They have some collections, but it's... Oh, they wanted to stand it and The Dead Zone. I think I'm gonna get that for my birthday. It's my birthday. For Christmas. Although, I, I like to get less of these and more of comics. Wow, one left already. It's gonna be a short video. <laughs> I say it, it's already been 10 minutes. This is probably my all-time favorite, because you get 
pop figures, which I'm not a huge fan of, but still. And I still have not figured this out. Does it go like this? No, it doesn't. It's... And the, the funniest thing is, I got it like like it was like this. I pinned like there's something there, but I, for the life of me, I can't put this back. You're telling it slips there. I have not figured it out. I think it goes like this because you want no, it has to go like this. If you want to see that, you want to see this. And also the other thing I hate is that and this, this is how I got it is that there's a little indent right there. If it was a if it was a book, I would have returned it. And this was hard to get out, so I think I ripped it. Yep. There's a tape right there. <clears throat> I got these cool little things. I hope, I hope you guys, I want to move with you guys. I hope you guys can see it. Man, which, if they're ever, if, if they're ever gonna re-release re this limited edition, they just do this and flip those little things inside. If, if you don't want it, um, cause this this would be awesome to get. Let's see, not just like the. This is kind of what they have with a new one. It's exactly what it is, the slip cover. That's a repurposed one. If you don't, if you don't want to get the pop figures. This collection is so well done that I might get the Batman Beyond one, even though I can watch that for free. Online. And yes, it's technically legal, but. You know what? Maybe they shouldn't make them. Okay, I can't even I can't even argue about the price. The pricing on that was pretty good. Ah, okay, so I got I'm so happy I got this though. This is this this was one I wanted to get. Um because I, I could watch this for free too. But this is one I wanted to get on Blu-ray. They've been doing this recently with all their old shows, and I'm surprised Marvel hasn't done wait a minute, that's because they all suck. I was kidding. Um, they should do what the old Spider-Man, the cart 90s cartoon. That was amazing. Get it? Amazing. <laughs> but, like, what I mean by suck is that some of their Disney XD ones aren't like, really reviewed for very, very well. Bonus disc, and they got Mask of the... Uh, both movies. Mask of the Phantasm. And, yeah. M Batman and Mr. Freeze, Sub-Zero. And the funniest thing about this is, is that because I, I like I liked this movie so much that I almost got the Blu-ray itself before I got the, obviously, before I got the collection. Um, I almost got this on Blu-ray again. And again, sorry. I, mean, I, had, I had it on DVD originally. Before I got this, I almost got it on Blu-ray again. And this is just awesome. It's all the collections. I hope I hope it'll be tomorrow. So yeah, Steven Spielberg one is the worst, but really it's because the pick of the movies they picked. Hunger Game, uh, Deadpool is the cheapest because it's just the two movies repurposed, but it's cheaper price, and it's both movies, so they give you what you wanted. Hunger Games didn't come as advertised. Alfred, Hitch Alfred Hitchcock is pretty perfect, and this one's even perfecter. Except the condition it came in, and the fact that you can't close it right away. But I like these little pop figures. I actually put them back in. I had them on display, but you couldn't see them. I put them where you could see them. That's where I want. That's where I put them. Because I want to buy pop figures. I'm not a pop figures fan. I actually kind of hate them. They're kind of stupid, in my opinion. Because they have no facial expression, except for Joker. But they have one of, um... God, who was it? Oh, of Buzz Lightyear. And they didn't, they didn't show his facial, like, his, they didn't, they just, like, the cheap thing, where they didn't do the face, uh, the, the mouth, I mean. And it was, like, the most expressive part of the body. And it, like, he looked like he was, like, a, he looked like nothing. It was cheaply made toys, and they're, like, super expensive for what seems to be kind of cheap. I mean, they, they all seem like, ugh. They're kind of nice, um, I will admit, like, they look nice, but it's cheap. I mean, it looks nice because it's, like, the plastic itself that they use is very, like, thick, I guess you'd say. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel hollow inside this, like, it doesn't look like it easily break this. If I, unless I drop it, but I mean, like, if I, like, this, it won't break. If I squeeze it hard, it won't break. 
but um, there's like no facial expression. It's kind of stupid. But some of them are some of them are like really cool. Like, there's a Wally one that looks kind of cool. If I was a huge fan of Wally, which I still have yet to see, I'm gonna get annihilated if not seeing them right now. Um, well, actually, you know what? As long as I'm going down the that rabbit hole, I haven't seen all of these movies. Um, these movies, these shows. I've seen a few of them. They're really good. It makes you want to read a Batman comic from the 90s, which is a very, very good thing. That's like saying that when you read a Spider-Man comic, you want to, every, when you're watching the Spider-Man 90s show, you want to read the Clone Saga, which is like, okay, it's not that bad, but in the 90s, comics went so far downhill, they almost went bankrupt. That's why so many movie studios own, like, that's why Sony used to own Spider-Man, and Fox used to own Fantastic Four and X-Men, while Marvel itself owned, like, all these, like, at the time, no-name, uh, comic book characters until the MCU came around and Disney came around to buy it and everything else saying and also me eventually. Two years from now I'm gonna buy YouTube. I I, I I can I'll guarantee you that. I have to wear a Mickey hat. That's when I quit. I'll, I'll, I'll go out with a bang. I'll be like that guy, like that nostalgia critic when uh that nostalgia, nostalgia critic when he uh ripped his shirt off and he had like he wrote like I'm f I, or I quit or something on his shirt. I don't know his stomach. His, Buddy, why is it so hard for me to say? <laughs> um, in the front of his body, I want something like that. I'll be like, "Fuck Disney!" I'll like, I'll, I'll go like go into an expose, which will be taken down. So I guess I'll be like, "I did nothing." But anyways, but uh, in, in, in the start, the start of the '90s, you got classic stories like um, Nightfall and. Infinity Gauntlet, but as like the late the mid nineties, I would say, was when it really got bad. Then late nineties, because late nineties you got that amazing Robin run. No, it started in the early nineties, so I must have. Yeah, it went through the nineties, huh? But I think it was. Yeah, I just started in ninety three. It was around the time that Nightfall was ending, so I think ninety three. There are some good 90s books. Like, Untold Tales of Spider-Man is so good that I want that omnibus already. Alright, that's it.